How do I set up call forwarding? Let's take a look at how to set up call forwarding for yourself or one of your users and make sure that you can show your users how to do this. Your system is handy in that you can easily set it up to reach you wherever you are, so you can take business calls even when you're not in the office. We'll cover navigation to the settings, adding forwarding numbers, getting them in the right order, and setting how many times to ring each one during regular hours or after hours. Let's start with our user Gloria for this example. We'll choose her from the list and click on her call handling. Because she has an office at hand phone, it appears first in the list. Add existing numbers for forwarding, like your mobile and home numbers as an example. You can turn these on and off with the click of a button and set the number of times the phone will ring before moving on to the next one. Remember, if you add several phones with several rings like this, callers will wait a long time before they can leave a message. Change the order in which these will get the calls by clicking on the arrows on the right. Click Save at each step. Some folks want all the phones to ring at the same time. You set that here. And for the case where you want a few phones to ring at once, for example, you might want your desk at work and your home office to ring at the same time. This is as simple as making a group of them and setting the number of rings for the group. For different handling for regular and after hours, start by clicking the After Hours tab. If you've already set working hours, you'll see options for after hours, which range from a simple announcement to a full set of call handling rules like those used in regular hours. Your soft phone and mobile app are special in that they start ringing right away. You can click down here to set how many rings before forwarding starts. Your users can set up their own forwarding. When they click Settings, they will see the same thing that you see when you click My Settings. From there, they click Call Handling and Forwarding and see the same screens and functions that we just went over. Now you know where and how to set up call forwarding numbers, and you can show your users how to do it too.